Hey guys, Amy Lover here, and this video will be me doing my wrap-up video for the animes that came out in spring 2017 and what I plan to be watching or what I want to watch in summer 2017. So let's get started on the video. This video is protected under fair use. All images and music used are owned by their respective owners. If you've seen my last video, which was the winter and spring wrap up and what I'm watching video, I went into it in an order of how I did things, so I'm gonna do the same order. So the order is so. I will do this um, series that I watched during this season, so which which would be spring 2017 anime. Then I will go to the summer 2017 anime, which are the newer stuff. I will tell you series that are coming out during the new summer season that I might watch, depending on what goes on. And I will tell you anime that I plan to be watching, or I'm in the middle of watching in between like the season switching that are not newer series so just series that came out maybe a couple of years ago and I'm just watching now. So let's get up on on the wrap up part of this so we're gonna talk about spring 2017. So first I'll tell you a series that I dropped and I was actually surprised I did. I will pick it up on a later date when more episodes have been released but I dropped Baruto within episode 2. I only watched two episodes and I don't know, I just didn't have the motivation to watch it as I did with Naruto. I don't know if maybe because it isn't Naruto anymore, um, that might be the problem. But I'll probably pick it up on a later date seeing I did finish Naruto and I am a really big fan of the series. Three anime that I watched during the season and one I'm actually still watching right now. One is Attack on Titan Season 2. That season was amazing. It explained a lot of things that we were very curious on after the first season and for the people who have not read the manga, they learned a lot of new things that um, we didn't know prior to Season 2 coming out so that was very cool. And I also watched, um, I have I always have like butchered the Japanese name, Fukimukuru Noise or Anonymous Noise, which um, if you saw and on any of my social media, I love this series. This was a maybe watch um, last season in my last video. I really like the art style and so that's what drew me to the series and after watching it, I am in love with it and I pre-ordered the next volume of the manga so I'm very excited for that to come in and it's such a good series so if you have the chance I definitely recommend it and it has a very good soundtrack it's kind of like a rock alternative and it's it's really good. And the third series I watched um, or am I'm still watching right now is uh, My Hero Academia season 2 which is so good so far. It's catching up pretty quick to what the manga is at though because me I have up to date that is published and they're going pretty quick like we're basically almost on the same level like the newest episode was volume 7 and there's only 8 volumes released right now so which I find it's really crazy that it's coming out so quick but I'm actually okay with that because I love My Hero Academia so more content for us to watch so I hope um next season they'll do kind of because it came out in winter had a break or and then it came the new season came out in the spring so maybe um after summer because this is a longer season maybe in the autumn they'll have a new season of my hero academia i didn't know where to put this series because i also watched it during um spring but this is a series i finished during the spring and it was danganronpa future in despair arc the season threes because i started them when they were releasing and then i kind of got confused with the two seasons so i waited for all of them to come out and then i finally watched it now and i also watched the ova which is the 2.5 of danganronpa so now i'm all completely caught up and now i'm just waiting for v3 which comes out I don't know when, but it's soon, so I'm excited for that. Now on to anime I'll be watching in summer 2017. I'm gonna have to have my laptop with me because some of these names I'm gonna get completely wrong, so I'm gonna have to look at them. 
So the first one is Koi to Oso, and the air date is um, July 3rd. And what it's about, um, it takes place in Japan, and basically the government, what they did is, um, when you turn 16, the government, the government will match you with somebody who you will marry when you're 16. And from what I read here, um, just two average people fall in love at the age 15, but obviously the government isn't going to just let them, let, because they don't like really allow love, it's more like the government picks their match kind of on their personality and they hope for you to be happy. So they aren't just going to be like, oh these two people are in love, let's actually get them married because they're just going to pick somebody else. So it's kind of their struggle, that's from what I read, that's what I think the story is going to be like, so I'm very excited for that. Another series I'm very hyped for and I read a bit of the manga online and I'm planning on picking it up. It's Welcome to the Ballroom and it airs on July 9th, so about in a week and a little bit it'll be out. So I'm very, very hyped for that because I heard many, or I've read part of the manga, but I heard many good things within the recent manga chapters. So I'm, I just want to know how they'll adapt even the dancing because like in, the art style is so amazing within the manga. I just, I'm really excited for them to actually put the dance into like an actual moving action. Another series I'm really hyped for, as you all know, I love Free, and this has nothing to do, um, it's kind of like Free, it's called Dive, and it even has like the exclamation mark after it, and what it's about, it's, it's about a diving team, and the place where they're swimming is shutting down, so they have to win, like they're, they're trying to keep their, like their diving team going at this, it's, it's free, and that's the only reason why I'm not gonna watch it. It's because it's literally just like free, but they're diving. They're not swimming, they're just jumping into the water. They're not actually swimming. But yeah. Ooh, this is a hard name, but it's uh, Kapiki Dashi Umana um. I'll have all the names in the description as before because I'm slaying this. Basically, um, this kid, he's a huge neat freak, but also he's like really good at soccer. That's basically the whole gist of from what I read off of um, the lists online. I'll have a link down below to where all these, sh where I found these shows and where I kind of got interested in these. If you want to look for some shows that you might want to watch if they aren't in my list on to the maybe watch list and there's actually only one series on this list because not a lot of series caught my attention. There weren't a lot of second seasons to series I have watched so we'll just go with this one. Um, Aki Deers actually talked about this one but I found it prior to her talking about it and it's called Kakagurumi and it comes out tomorrow July 1st. And it's basically, the school um, is very, like, it's for richer kids, but their whole premise of their school is gambling. So the better gambler you are, or the mo more money you have, the higher rank you are. And basically this girl, she's a transfer student, comes in and she ends up being some pro gambler. If you want to hear more about it, I will have the link to Aki Darius' video down below. So you can check it out and get more information on the anime and manga itself. Now onto the series that I am going to be watching but they are not new. First, of course, I'm still watching One Piece so I will continue watching that. I also just kind of started rewatching um, um, season two. I was halfway through it and then I stopped for like almost half a year and now I'm just rewatching it because I forgot what happened. And then High Q season two because I've actually only watched season one but I'm basically caught up in the manga so like I'm kind of where the series is somewhat at right now. But like I haven't watched season 2 so I, I just want to watch the anime for it even though I've only watched like season 1 and read so far only like 5 volumes of the series. But I bought 2 Nendroids for $125 because why not? It's... they were cute. <laughs> 
but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, these aren't like the best videos, I, or these aren't the like highest quality videos because I'm not the best at just explaining my ideas because I'm not really good at explaining or even reading because I, I don't know. I. But like I really hope you enjoyed this video. All my media links will be down below. As I said in prior videos, there's a Facebook page also down there which is not just me but a bunch of other anime YouTubers where we do links, memes, and other updates for our channels. It is called Anime Reviews. Link is in the description. Link to Aki Dearest's video which I was talking about prior to now. It will be down in the description and a list of all the animes in order and how I had them sectioned off with in the description. So if you're looking for any of these series I've talked about, just go down below and you will find the name of the anime and I'll put the air date beside it because last time I didn't do that so this time you'll be able to find out what days the episode comes out. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and see you in the next video. Alright, bye guys!